Okay, this is our second video for um, the Tuesday in week five. We're telling the time on the hour and a half past the hour on digital clocks. We are learning to tell the time to the half hour on analog and digital clocks. We can use the terms o'clock and half past. We can describe the position of the hands on a clock record hour and half hour time. Remember our word wall from yesterday. So we're continuing with the same words all week. We need to practice these words. So time, clock, analog, digital, hour, hand, minute, hand, o'clock, half past. Okay, digital clocks. Digital clocks show us the hour and minutes. The hour and minutes are separated by a colon. These are the colons. The hour is always before the colon. The minutes are always after the colon. This clock is showing us that it is four o'clock. Look at the number before the colon. This is the hour. Let's practice. What time is it? Hmm, I wonder if you know. It's nine o'clock. What time is it? Do you know? It's 11 o'clock. Well done, I'm sure you were right. What time is it? It is five o'clock. Look at the number after the colon. These are the minutes. There are 30 minutes in a half hour. You can see 30 on a digital clock. It is half past the hour. What time is it? It is half past eight. I wonder if you can say that any other way. Can you use some of our language that we've used so far this week? What about 8.30? That's another way to say it. What time is it? It is half past six. Or we could say 6.30. What time is it? It is half past seven. There are several ways to write the time in hours. This can be written 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. 6 o'clock or 6 o'clock. It's the same, it sounds the same, but it looks different because we can use numbers and we can use words. So it's written slightly differently. There are also several ways to write the time in the half hour. We can write 7.30 a.m. or p.m., half past seven, or 7.30. What time is it? It is half past five. What's another way we could say that? Have a think. How about 5.30? What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. 
What time is it? It is half past four. What time is it? It is nine o'clock. What time is it? Do you know? Say it aloud. That's right, it's 12 o'clock. What time is it? It is half past three. Do you think you could say that another way? Have a think. Start with the three. Three thirty. Okay, now it's your turn. A hint is to use the slides to help you. So in your Google Classroom, you will find the slides that match this video. Uh, you can use those slides to write down your answers or use as a prompt to help you practice some of those time-telling skills that we learned today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write the time using numbers. So we've got a, a time written up here in the pink, half past four. So we want you to be able to write this using numbers, just like on the digital clock. We also want you to be able to write the time using words. Okay, so this says half past four, but what's another way that we could write it, but it still means the same time. And number three, draw the time onto the analog top clock. So here you go, remembering from our lesson from yesterday that we need to remember which one's our minute hand. Our minute hand is going to be the longer hand and our hour hand is our shorter hand. Okay, so have a go, see if you can do that on your own. If you can't, you might like to ask an adult this is something I'm pretty sure that all of the adults in your household are going to be really good at. Okay, let's try this one. Number one, write the time using numbers. So we've got our digital time over here. So we're going to write it using numbers over here. Write the time using words and draw the time onto the analog clock here. Okay, the same thing. Remember our hour hand is our shorter hand and our minute hand is our longer hand. Again, another chance to practice. So have a look at the digital clock Write the time using the numbers. Write the time using words. And number three, draw the time onto an analog clock. Now it is your turn. Number one, complete the time to Tuesday slides and activities. And number two, complete the second activity time puzzle at Twinkle Go. You can access this lesson using the pin code KQ5647 on Twinkle Go. Uh, optional, do you want more practice? Try this video for some fun learning. There's lots of fun games that you can play there if you need something extra to do. Enjoy, good luck, bye.